Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse show. I almost kind of chuckle because some of the crazy things that are going on, you scratch your head. This new Amazon right of the mass to enter a three-year experimental phase. <laughs> Haven't we done enough experimenting? I mean, the last 50 or 60 years? Come on. Jesse, what's this all about? Terry, let me just preface by saying that the reason we take this topic <laughs> extremely serious is because this is the gateway to heaven. This is how we get to heaven. Yeah, the mass source. Yeah. And I'll, and, and I'll tell you just in, in two sentences, I'll tell you why there is nothing on planet Earth that equals the Catholic mass. Yeah. Why? When you go to Protestant services, those are basically glorified Bible studies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a rock concert for, for Christians. Judaism, they've lost their, uh, they, they, their covenants are obsolete. Islam is a false religion. And so all these forms of worship, the reason they're not pleasing to God is because the only way you can please God is by God himself. So what is the mess? It is the son of God who's made present and his perfect satisfaction on Calvary satisfies God the father's perfect divine justice. So the mass is God the offering of God to God, mm -hmm. not man to God, That's right. or, or, or an animal to God. It's the offering of God to God, the justice of God. God is holy. The father's holy. He's perfect. He's just the only thing that can ameliorate or satisfy the, the, the justice of God. The father is the perfect atonement and sacrifice and satisfaction of God, the son. So the mass in one sentence is what the offering of God to God. Mm -hmm. That's why there's nothing like the Catholic mass. Now you have Satan, Terry trying to use the modernist to continue to, to uh, do, do damage yeah. to the holy sacrifice of the mass. What I would call Terry Death by a thousand slashes. I call it just watering it down too, Jesse, where they're make, they're, people have no idea what they're doing when they go to Mass. So these experiments have already gone on and they just haven't been uh, good for the Holy Mother of the Church. But let me just say this, that a highly anticipated and controversial Amazon right of the Mass will enter that three-year cycle, okay? But this new report by Vida Nuva, a digital groundbreaking details, were revealed about the proposed right of the mass, a fruit of what? A 2019, remember? The Amazon Senate held at the Vatican. Do you guys remember that? I sure do. While not giving quotations, he said, the Amazon right will enter this experimental phase for three years, but this is news because it's arguably the most significant development in relations to the Amazon right since it was proposed back in 2019. And this priest serves as the head of the theological team of Latin America and the Caribbean Episcopal Council. And he's also an advisor to the Conference of the Amazon. So he would know. And he says, it's, I serve as a coordinator of the process of elaboration of the Amazon right for the Ecclesial Conference of the Amazon and advocates. Are you ready for this? This is sick. This is advocating this group for the ordination of women to the diaconate and to the priesthood, along with married priests, their influential theologian. Are you ready for this? This is what's crazy. Is a key advisor to the current Senate on synodality. They're stacking the deck. Just continue about this right. Wow. It says the Amazon right is a product of the highly controversial 2019 Senate of Bishops on the Amazon or the Amazon Synod. Among the many proposals raised by the Amazon Synod and its final documents are the opening of the clerical state to women mm -hmm. and getting married men to the priesthood. Right. An attempt to make the church more appealing to Catholics in the region. Additionally, based on the Second Vatican Council's defense of liturgical pluralism, which is not, that's not a word in the documents, by no, the way. No, that, that's their that's spirit amazing. of Vatican too. Again, go ahead. Yeah. The Amazon's final synod document called for a right of native peoples, which would be based on their worldview, traditions, symbols, and original rights that include transcendent community and 
ecological dimensions. By the way, none of that's in Vatican II. That's all made up out of cloth. <laughs> that's the spirit of Vatican II at work. It says, the, this Amazonian rite would express the liturgical, theological, disciplinary, and spiritual heritage of the Amazon, which would assist the work of evangelization. By the way, this is nothing more than liberation theology, which started in Mexico and it's flowed downstream yeah. through all of South America. This is nothing but a repackaging of liberation theology. Details have since been scarce on what right on what the right might look like. However, Pope Francis has suggested it could be formulated in line with the Zer right, which has been used in the Democratic Republic of the Congo since 1988. In a preface to a 2020 book on the Zarian Rite, Francis wrote that the rite is considered an example of liturgical enculturation. He commented, quote, One feels that the celebration according to the Zarian Rite, a culture and spiritually animated by religious songs with African rhythm, the sounds of drums and other musical instruments vibrate, which constitute a true progress in rooting the Christian message in the Congolese soul. It is a joyful celebration. Terry, that's an insult to our intelligence. I'll tell you why. I agree with you, Jesse. Because, because if you think you have to uh, speak to a man's soul in Africa by, by emotional, highly charged music, and you can only speak to a Mexican, a Mexican soul by highly charged mariachi music, that's an insult, Terry. That's saying, oh, the only way they can approach God is by music from their culture. No, I'm going to tell you how you approach God according to the Bible. God is approached <laughs> in silence. Amen. And guess what? Silence is a universal language that we all understand. Nowhere does it say that you approach God through, through music from, from your cultural expression. But the Bible does say, be still and know that God is. Be still and know that God is present to you. God is encountered more, more closely in silence, that's why contemplative prayer is the highest form of prayer. And so all this, all this, uh, uh, th th Terry, this is all basically uh, what, what I would call, uh, what's, what's it's, there's a word, you're, you're just pandering, you're yeah. just pandering. Oh, let's make the Mexicans happy. Let's yeah. Make the, oh, yeah, yeah. This uh, pandering, this uh, is not Catholicism. And you know what, Jesse, so beautiful, this is what's beautiful about our Catholic faith. Cardinal, uh, Renzi said this, and also uh, Seurat, Cardinal Seurat, who was in charge of the liturgy years ago. He said, when we speak the language of Latin all over the world, he said, you see people in Africa, Asia, America, worshiping in the same language. That's the beauty of our Catholic faith. And these are guys who should know better. I, I agree with that. I remember reading uh, one of the books by Cardinal Seurat saying that you know, when I was growing up in Africa, it was a powerful experience because you had all these groups from all over Africa and they had the Latin mass, Gregorian chant, and all of them knew it. And it was powerful. See, this is what the Vatican II Council document said, folks, about the mass, that we're supposed to know our parts of the mass in Latin. I mean, give me a break. Has that been implemented? Go to your parish and ask somebody at your parish. Do you know what? Uh, do you, have you ever had a mass in Latin once? No. See, this is why I say, well, the real Vatican II, please stand up. But, but getting back to this right, the, the, we're going in the wrong direction, I, in, my, in my humble opinion. Let's go back to what really worked when it came to liturgy. And I really say this. I, I, you know, I'm not, you can have a, a Novus Ordo Mass in Latin, you can have a Novus, you can have a Trinitine Mass in Latin, I even have a, the English Mass with the Anglican Ordinariate that I go to every Sunday, it's a very traditional Mass, but the point of it is, we're a small group, so only our group knows how to do the responses, but having a universal act of worship, the Mass, in a universal language, I think that's the answer. Now, they didn't ask me for that advice about the Amazon, or I would have told them. Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> yeah, it, it says here, uh, development. Yeah. Following calls from liberalizing forces and key campaigners behind the Amazon Synod, mm -hmm. a commission was formed to guide the development of such a right. In June 2022, the notoriously anti-traditional secretary of the Vatican's Dicastery for Divine Worship Archbishop Vittorio Viola mm -hmm. commented that the formation of an Amazonian rite was on the high seas. 
<laughs> he also highlighted Pope Francis' comments about and linking of the <clears throat> acculturation of the liturgy with the new evangelization. Just as the Pope had done in 2020 book preface, Viola linked the Zare rite to the proposed Amazonian rite, attesting that the so-called enculturation of liturgy is the new frontier for the church. So at least they admit this is new. This is not tra traditional. Right. And I have to say, there's another article where, uh, from his LifeSite News where it says that Pope Francis really is against tradition with a capital T. Oh, yeah. Why do you say that? Why did LifeSite put that article up? Because everything that he's doing through his dicastery offices are attacking the tradition, capital T, of the church. We continue. Results of the various subcommittees studying the proposed right were presented to the Dicastery for Divine Worship in September 2022. The process was crucially aided by a papal formation of a new Episcopal conference yeah, of modernists in the Amazon <laughs> region, the Ecclesial Conference of the Amazon. Vida Nueva, which means new life, reported that Brigetti, Brigenti said that the proposed Amazonian right was presented to the Second Assembly of the SEMA this August after a phase in communities stated Brigenti, the right will be presented to the Dicastery for Divine Worship. Currently, the theologian said that some 13 commissions are formulating the right's details about the rituals of the sacraments and also thinking about the liturgical year of the, Amaz of the Amazon, the liturgical space, the liturgy of the hours, among others. We hope it will be accepted and approved by the church so that the ecclesial communities can express their faith according to their culture and customs in this immense territory of the Amazon. Yeah, guess what, Terry? This is how you keep dividing the church. Keep saying, you're Mexican, you're Portuguese. Exactly. You're French, you're the final draft of this uh, rite contains liturgical actions based on drawn from pagan actions, such as liturgy would be at the liberty of individual cleric involved who would feel at ease incorporating a wider accompaniment of pagan aspects of the rituals which the Vatican has approved. We need to pray, make reparation, because this is not going to please God.